Hi folks, thanks very much for joining me. I'm back at Albury Estates. This time I'm on the Vale End fishery and it comprises of two lakes. It's the Belmont Lake and the Mill Lake. It's uh, in beautiful surroundings. It's been extremely well landscaped. And again, Albury Estates have done me a favor and booked the weather. So we've got another scorcher of a day ahead. Let's get into it. So I've come to the Albury Estates to fish Vale End today. Uh, last time I came, and if you missed that, I'll stick a little um, information bar up the top so you can see the first instalment of the Albury Estates series that I'm doing. And uh, I fished the lake called Weston. I did come with the intention to fish in the whole of the estate waters, but um, it's obviously a huge expanse of water, and I just didn't have the time. And I had such a good time at Weston, uh, it was a shame not to come back and have a look at the other fisheries. So Vale End today, which I'm hoping to show you a bit about, and then I'll probably do powder mills and the river fishing that they have in later vlogs. I've spoken to the anglers that were here from early doors and uh, there's been four chaps around the lake and they've had a pretty tough time of it. So two fish between the four of them in a sort of two, three hour session. Uh, they got here early to avoid the heat of the day and uh, a couple of them now packing up and heading for home. So that leaves me plenty of bank space to have a crack and see how I get on. There is the odd fish rising, but uh, it's very sporadic. I can see some fish cruising in the margins, but they don't seem to be feeding. But let's see how we go. I'm going to start at Belmont. This is the bigger of the two lakes here at Vale End. Uh, the reason for that is the, the water is crystal clear here. I've seen a few fish coming up to the surface to take fly and I'm going to start with a dry fly. Now I would normally start with a, a 10 foot for a 7 witchwood but it's a little fast action for fishing the dry fly. My usual dry fly rod that the 5 weight, 9 foot for a 5 weight is currently in Durham somewhere, so <laughs> what I've opted for is the Helios, it's 10 foot for a 7, it's quite a soft action rod which I'm hoping is going to cushion any takes that I might be lucky enough to have. So I'm just going to get tackled up with a sedge pattern and I'll see how I get on. Well, um, I've been fishing for about an hour and a half now. It's been fairly hard going. I've had one fish to the net, and uh, that was to a small hare's ear, fished on a really long leader. But uh, I did try dries initially, and it was great fun watching the fish coming up and just turning away at the last minute. I went down to about a size 20. Uh, I went up to a size 12 to, to no avail. Fish would look, but they wouldn't take. 
and, uh, and that's been a theme for me while I've been visiting the Albury Estates actually with dry fly. I've got a very small uh, hair's ear pattern on now and I've been fishing that for about 10-15 minutes. I know I'm covering fish because I can see them in the clear water but they're just, um, some will come and look but the takes are very few and far between. But I'm going to persevere and see how I get on. Well, when I um, arrived and I sort of had my walk around the fishery, I, I spoke to the fishery manager, Cameron Craigs, and he said, uh, you're in for a tough time, Lindsay. It, it's been pretty pretty rough with the hot weather and stuff, and he wasn't wrong. I've, um, I've toiled away for the morning session for just two fish, and the last one, I've got to be honest with you, I cast out and wound in to um, go for some lunch, and a fish latched on. You couldn't, you couldn't make it up, really. I've had um, plenty of offers in action, but I'm just not uh, connecting with the fish. And I don't know if they're, they're not feeding right. The fish, the, I said earlier that there was a lot of fish rising, but I think now that they're not actually feeding. I think they're trying to shake gill lice or something of that ilk, but they don't seem to be taking anything uh, food-wise food, food -wise off, off the top of the water. So talking about food, I'm going to go and get myself some lunch and then I'll have another wee go this afternoon. Well, it's been a lovely afternoon. Uh, the weather's been great. It's not been as hot as it was uh, the last time I was at Albury. It was about 30 degrees. So, although my head looks like a Belisha beacon, I forgot the sunscreen. Can you believe it? A jock with no sunscreen. Yep, I'm going to pay tomorrow and my wife's going to nag me tonight. But uh, to the fishing, it's been tough. I've had six fish for my day, which uh, I think is pretty good. Uh, I've seen plenty of other anglers here, there's been about a dozen guys come through on and off throughout the time I've been here, uh, but I haven't seen very many catching fish unfortunately, but it's August, you've got to expect tough conditions. So how did I manage to get uh, any sport? I've scaled down my kit considerably, so I'm on four pound tippet and I'm using size 18 and 20 nymphs, and I've got them under an indicator. I know, it's a dirty word the indicator but you know I'm not going to get into that in this video but uh, it's been the only way that I've been able to catch the fish I did try all sorts under the indicator but the very very small flies seem to be my most successful I've lost a few as well I've not been short of sport there's plenty of fish they can be seen cruising around in the clear water so there's no excuses really you might have to work a bit but you can catch fish in these conditions so it's worth giving Albury Estates a little look at if you're local or even if you're not, it, I think it's worth the trip. It's a beautiful fishery, well kept and very scenic. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time.